From WPFW News in Washington, I'm Sue Goodwin. Rosemary in the bag and tied around my neck for my protection. I'm walking around, big old sack on my back, coming in your direction. What kind of tea do you like? I got it. I'm the medicine man, herb from the land, yeah. I'm the herb man, come see me. Oh, I'm the herb man, you all come see me. Me, rosemary, calm your nerves, got peppermint leaf to get rid of my fever. I keep periwinkle to get some love now. Whoa, I got to hug me clothes to make my backbone strong. Go to cola, tonic for my blood, and dandelion for my bones, y'all. I can leave. Keep away flies. Hot lady cayenne for my pressure. Oh, I'm the herb man. Come see me. Oh, I'm the herb man. You all come see me. Get the children out the way now. No, you can't smoke this, sir. This is for salad. Yes, for salad. Herb man, herb, herb. And good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome to another episode of To Your Health, a program designed not only to inform, but to also change your life and health around. I'm Dr. Theodore Watkins, the host of To Your Health, and I am here with my able assistant, Mr. Frank Smith. How are you doing, Brother Frank? Doing well, Doc. Outstanding, outstanding. You know, our topic today is self-healing, self-healing, and our guest is no stranger to WPFW and to to your health, Dr. Mir Snyder. How are you doing, Dr. Snyder? Yeah, I'm doing fantastic. I'm so happy to talk to you and uh, uh, to bring more ideas to the audience. You know, do you remember that you spoke with me in the past about uh, people with dementia that after walking for a long time, they start to remember things, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That, that was one of the things that, that helped stimulate me to leave surgery and go into holistic medicine when I, when I realized the power of something as simple as walking. Yes. Yeah, let's add to it something. You know, in the past, you learned and I learned that the brain is very stubborn. It's like up to a certain point it develops, and from a certain point it is like a stone. Nothing moves. If you lose brain cells because you drink alcohol, you lose brain cells uh, because you smoke, you can never get them back. But truth of the matter is that in the last 10 years or so or more, uh, many people are talking about BDNF, and you and I are talking about VGIF, which means the vascular endothelium uh, growth factor. That well, e- even even before we get into the specifics, I, I want I want you to share with our listeners, you know, because we're going to talk about self healing today. Yes. Uh, when we say self healing, what from a conceptual standpoint, what are we actually talking about? We're talking about, first of all, responding to your condition, not only leaving it to others, Mm. Uh, accepting guidelines from others to some extent, but responding to your condition and working on getting better. Both in life... Dr. Snyder, I'm I'm project, so so I'd say, you say responding, I'd say taking charge. (laughs) <laughs> Very good. Taking charge, exactly. Taking charge, but the idea also the wisdom of how you do it. For example, yes. in the world of movement, we always think that 
working hard to a point of exhaustion does good. Well, sometimes it does. Today I walked for about 52 blocks uh, and most of them in the park, Golden Gate Park. But truth of the matter is that it is also sensing what your body needs and responding to what your body needs. So kinesthetic awareness, awareness of your body, response to what it needs, trying to have deep sense of its needs and taking the hard step of doing what needs to be done. For example, in the case of following uh, your guidance, changing diet, even if it doesn't feel too convenient at the time, eventually you start to like food which are different than the food that you ate. In my cases, while doing some aerobic exercises, also doing exercises that uh, start to use muscles you never used before. I'll give you a real good example. You and I right now are sitting on a chair. And uh, I'm sorry that you, I see you, but you don't see me with the fact that I don't have a camera here. But you okay. and I are sitting on a chair. But you know, sitting on a chair is taxing on the back. It looks <laughs> comfortable. We're used to it. Uh, but you know, if you sit on a chair for many, many hours, it actually causes many back problems. Like a wonderful lady that I met yesterday, she came to me, first of all, for vision. And now she has a bunch of sacroiliac problems in her lower back. So what would it take for a person to write on their computer that every 15 minutes they will stand up and stretch? Or even better yet, every 20 minutes, stand up, grab their leg at the ankle, uh, push the chest forwards, let the head look up at the ceiling and stretch nicely, which is the opposite of sitting. And that already helps the back a lot. Another thing is uh, shoes and cement. So, 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 all right, before, before you move on, so why is it that sitting in a chair does some harm to the back? The reason why sitting on the chair causes harm to the back is that the muscles that are naturally there for you to sit, yeah. uh, which are the deepest abdominal muscles, transverse abdominus, and uh, the paraspinalis, which are the deepest spine muscles, can only take it for half an hour at a time. Have you seen an ape sitting uh, eight hours a day on one branch? Uh, and if you look at tribes which are not, uh, which are, have not converted to our culture, they move a lot. So sitting is against what the body wants. And the result of this is that we start to use synergies, helper muscles. For example, well, we all know the erector spinae, but we use the trapezius. And so many people have shoulder pain. The 200,000 massage therapists in, in uh, supermarkets and airports that massage your shoulders because they assume that you might have shoulder pain. Uh, there's lower back pain. All those things are happening when you add muscles that are supposed to support you and you keep sitting and keep sitting and then... Uh, your connective tissue starts to harden. That's one of the reasons that I'm saying, while we have more than 600 muscles, around 640, I think, most of us use 50 to 100 of them. We just use oh, mercy, some of our muscles. Mercy. What? I said, oh, mercy. <laughs> because, because we forgot about the small muscles that should be working. I think that's very, very important. So learning how to sense your body, sense what your body needs, and work with your body needs become your priority, basically. Mm -hmm. So if you if you have 640 and you're only using uh, 100, I mean, then, then, then you, you, you know, you're using less than a fourth of, 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 your, of your muscles. And the others, if you don't use it, you but lose it. And so, yes, and more than that, the connective tissue hardens. The connective tissue that connects all the cells together, mm -hmm. instead of being right. soft in some places, becomes hard. 
and then it uh, restricts uh, your movement, and then the movement of the joints becomes imbalanced. So then uh, it's hard to find too many people from a certain age without different forms of arthritis. Your breathing starts to be uh, stifled because your chest cavity starts to be smaller. All kinds of things happening to you because of that kind of use. So what I'm saying is one of the work we have to do is discover the muscles we overstrain, wake up the muscles we never use. I'll give you a simple example. You talked about walking. What about walking backwards? What about yeah. walking sideways? We never use those muscles. Um, and for example, our shoulders uh, tend to be tight. What about engaging in shoulder rotations, arm rotations, starting to use muscles we don't know even exist? If we, uh, if we always flex our fingers, what about extending them? If we never use our toes because they're in shoes all the time, how about starting to move them one by one? All those things are so important because if you start to learn that there are much that you don't use, it makes a big difference. Now, when people... You know, you know Dr. Snyder, I thought about you today. Um, uh, I, 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 uh, one of my patients talked to me uh, last week or week before last about grounding. And, and I had heard about it before, but I'd never really participated in it um, as an adult, uh, as, as a little boy I did uh, when I would go to South. But um, so I started um, with a rounding mat and today my wife said, let's go walking. And so when we get out there, she said, well, let's take off our shoes. And we're in walking in the grass, barefooted. And, and I noticed that my, my toes were, were, were sort of digging down and I thought about you. Um, you know, last time you were on, you were talking about how it's important to use your toes and exercise your toes. And so I was out there doing it today as you instructed. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And the point is that um, those are some of the lost muscles. Like they say, the 10 lost tribes of Israel, those are our lost muscles, our muscles, which we don't use throughout life. And that's why uh, it is so important for us. If you want to be in good shape to 100, one of the things that you need to do is use what is yours and you never did use. That's the important thing here. So um, one other thing, Dr. Watkins, which is so important, is to understand that uh, uh, walking with shoes on cement is jarring for the ankles. And so oh, yeah. ankle rotations mm -hmm. as a compensation for it is important. I'm not saying don't sit anymore. Uh, I mean, you can also stand, but I'm saying stretch. And as we talked about vision, you know, uh, one of the reasons for so many cataracts these days, when the lens basically becomes opaque instead of uh, uh, transparent and clear, one of the main reasons for it is that we don't look enough at the distance. We spend enormous amount of hours looking at computers. People don't even sleep enough at night, something that everybody should do. Uh, and we look at computers constantly. We're straining the muscles of the lens called the ciliary muscles. And we don't allow them to relax. The neck, we slouch with it a lot. But you know, um, in in many countries, people walk with jugs on their neck and the jugs don't fall because the muscles are much more even. So what I'm saying here, what is so important to say here, is that we need to be aware of the fact that our potential is huge. And what we need is to, ex to explore ourselves, returning to the brain. We want to wake up some nerves that we never used before, the synapses that they have. I'll give you an example just practically. You know, one lady that I know and like very much fell down. In fact, she had a very bad time in her life where she was emotionally very upset and she couldn't digest anything, even though her diet is very good. She threw up whatever she ate. 
And then one, ta- one time she fell, uh, she is of age, and broke her hip joints. Oh, man. So the doctor did the, the hip replacement, did a successful surgery, but she couldn't move out of bed. She couldn't mm. turn right or left. She couldn't move out of bed for three months. Mm. And uh, she contacted me. She was uh, from Mexico. And I um, instructed a physiotherapist and massage therapist and nurses to start a massager, a mover, and mobilizer. And finally, we could get her to turn to the side. And at a certain point, dramatically, we could get her to stand for a few seconds. Okay? And now she came to me for many, many sessions. And she it's so surprising. I mean, she still limps, but she can run and catch the bus. Uh, yeah. uh, she can move uh, rather quickly with her limp. And we're going to meet again to get rid of that limp. So, so, so one of the things, one of the things that, that you have to do is to convince people that they don't have to be sick. That they, exactly. They, they don't have to get sick, but if they are sick, that there's a lot that they can do to get well. So they have to change how they think because thinking is so important. That lady could have just said, you know, um, look at my condition, woe is me. And, and just stayed in that condition. But because she wanted to do more, you know, and she got in touch with someone who understands <laughs> understands the, the, the anatomy and physiology a lot better than, 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 you know, from a practical standpoint, a lot better than most physicians, um, you were able to help her to get moving. I, 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 I was called by about a patient today who's in the hospital with with um, uh, metastatic cancer and not walking and, and so forth. And I said, well, uh, one of the things we got to do is get her out of the hospital. <laughs> you know, we got to get her out of the hospital and, and, and we got to get her moving, get her moving. Um, I had a patient last week who's worse, he could not uh, walk. And and um, she couldn't stand up without using her hands. And I, I said, just try. You don't have to succeed. All you have to do is try. The and trying it, itself makes you stronger. The trying itself makes you stronger. You know, trying to push up is, is isometric exercise, and isometric exercise helps to strengthen. And so it's so it's so exciting to me. That, that we are able to, to um, help people if they are willing to be helped. And so having you on today uh, with your crazy self, because people told you, just stay blind. <laughs> exactly. Well, know, I just want to say about that one lady that she's a real self-healer. She found the person that can encourage her. Yes. She wanted to get out of her situation. She couldn't resolve her life issues that caused the emotional problem. This is something that I have to, to tell everybody. Some things cannot be resolved. Some things uh, cannot make you happy. Some things cannot motivate you. You have to make yourself happy. You have to motivate yourself. You have to motivate people around you. It's important that you push for your improvement on your own. That is such an important thing, you know? So in her case, we got so far and she invested in herself so much. And I think that is so important that everybody will understand it. That's why in my book, Movement for Self-Healing, I described about amazing recoveries of people with muscular dystrophy, uh, people with uh, huge vision problems, people with supposedly unresolved double vision that was resolved, people who thought they're blind in one eye and found it was simply a lazy eye that the brain did not use. Those type of things, plus describing how I recovered from my blindness and uh, am able to drive a car today. I, I will never forget that I drove with my grandmother once and she said, boy, I cried. She said, I was willing to donate my eye to exchange with your eye, you know, uh, uh, because you were my, uh, I, she has 
a deaf daughter and a blind grandson. But um, I'm happy she didn't do it. We'd both be blind for that. But uh, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, the eye exercises didn't help me to see exactly normally, but helped me really improve my vision enough that I drive comfortably. Um, today, I decided not to drive. I walked from my home to the office uh, about eight long blocks. Uh, normally, there would be like... Uh, 15 blocks or so, but there are long blocks here in the outer sunset. Uh, I walked because I decided I'm flying today. I have to take care of myself. I have to walk a lot today, not sit in that car, but walk. And I think this is a good time in the spring in D.C. and in Maryland, in those areas, that you have to put your shoes and go out. All right, all right. You know, we're, we're, we're in the midst of uh, Pledge Week. And uh, um, uh, pledge drive, and I'm I'm excited um, that that uh, you're here because you you you're doing what we we want to do on this on this program, and as to teach people how to get well, teach people how to get well, and and it's it's so important that people uh, take control of themselves, that they take control of themselves. Um, Katia, are you with us? And I am Dr. A... Watkins. I am Dr. Watkins. Good evening. All right, all right. I just want to add and do it in a wise manner. In a, a wise manner, manner. That can really help them. Not do some crazy things, but do wise matter. You know, so many people die from wrongful medical treatment, even medical treatment which is considered to be right. Uh, many, many people. Well, we're going to talk that. about. We're going to talk about that more. Um, first, I want Katia to come on and sort of uh, let our listeners know what we're doing and, and how they can support the station. Absolutely. Well, thank you for giving me space. And Mir, it's nice to be on with you again. Always good to hear you and your wisdom. And I just want to let people know that, first of all, Dr. Watkins has a goal of $800 for today. And we would like you to call now, 800-222-9739. Or you can go online to WPFWFM.org. This program already has been so incredibly informative. And that is, in fact, the thing that you support when you make a pledge of support. However, if you are um, inclined, uh, you can make a pledge at the $150 level. And you will receive the gift of three of Mir's books, Dr. Schneider's books, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing. Movement for Self-Healing, and Vision for Life. And of course, they are talking about the information contained in this these books throughout the hour. But again, the gift is having Dr. Watkins here and to your health. And uh, he gives us so much insight. Of course, he took us through COVID and uh, made sure that we understood protocols and uh, procedures and, and keeping our immune systems up during that period. Um, but Dr. Watkins is always dropping knowledge, whether it be about um, how we can change our thinking to change our physical, um, our physical health, or how we can, in fact, change our diets to change our physical health. And, and we know that when we change the physical, it's not just a transformation of the physical health, but it's mental, emotional, and spiritual health that are also uh, benefiting. So. If you understand the value of having a naturopathic and allopathic doctor, uh, Dr. Watkins, with us every Monday at 2 p.m., then now is the time to call. $800 to go. I want to be able to come back at uh, 20 till the hour and thank some folks on Dr. Watkins' behalf. But none of this is possible without your support. 800-222-9739. 800-222-9739. Or you can go online to WPFWFM.org. And Dr. Watkins, um, if I could just also mention that I know there are many people out there that listen to you that have not yet pledged. So we are looking for this pledge drive in particular, uh, four new members per hour. And we would love for four people who have yet to pledge to Dr. Watkins' show but have been benefiting immensely over the week, the months, the years from listening to him to step up and become that person that supports that which supports them. 
800-222-9739, or you can go online to WPFWFM.org, $800 to go. We can do this together, folks. Dr. Watkins? Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I appreciate that because we, this program is so important, and, and, and callers call in and, and talk about how they've made changes. And certainly, Dr. Snyder has been instrumental in helping people to not just gain regain their vision, but to regain their health. And so uh, this, this program today, the power of self-healing, it means that people have to be willing to take charge of themselves. I tell my patients all the time, I am not your boss. You know, you're my boss. You pay me. I don't pay you. And if people can just understand that, Dr. Snyder, and, and recognize, yes, they're to cooperate with their doctors, but um, they need to take charge. And, and we want to take charge here today by uh, calling and, and, and supporting the information that, that we're giving. It, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited uh, for that, um, uh, what, we, what we're able to do. So go ahead. You were saying something, Dr. Snyder, before, before I cut you off uh, earlier. Before you go on. Yeah, what uh, I wanted to say is that many people died... Uh, from uh, medical treatments. Many people were saved by medical treatments. Uh, many people died. And we need to always assess which is the treatment that we want, what part that we want. So uh, I've seen people too hesitant sometimes to receive medical help. And I really always encourage them to receive it. But on the other end, I've seen people who just move as quickly as possible to get all kinds of drugs, poisonous drugs, uh, all kinds of surgeries which are not absolutely necessary, necessary, uh, and got a lot of problem as a result of it. Uh, I was able to help quite a few people to even prevent necessary surgeries because when they use their body's power, they were able, able to overcome their problems. Um, and I've helped quite a few people to not need vitreous detachment or vitreous uh, vitrectomy uh, and prevented vitreous detachment. Uh, so what I'm saying is let's learn the power of the eye. But one thing to just explain to you, the body has to be soft. You want maximum muscular activity, but you don't want the body to be hard. You want it to be soft. And the eye has to be the same. Uh, you kind of allow the world to come in. You don't push the world to come in. And that is by developing your periphery, by blinking a lot, by adapting to the sun instead of fighting with the sun or rejecting the sun. Those are very important things uh, for us to do. So uh, the important thing that I want to say on your show is that uh, what's wonderful about you is that you bring me as a guest and I'm sure several other guests that encourage you to do what you can do for yourself. That's the most important thing. One of the things you can do for yourself is tune into your body. Feel your inner kinesthetic sense and you do it with breathing with deep breathing, with recognizing muscles that you have never used before, the side muscles. For example, audience, stand up and lift your legs sideways. If you keep your legs sideways for a minute, you can feel that there are some muscles that you normally don't use uh, as you move your legs sideways. Also, people who are very sedentary, uh, stand up and look backwards. See how it feels to look backwards and breathe deeply as you do it. We don't move enough. The time that we move is uh, when we have an appointment or in a gym machine, but we don't go deeply to ourselves and sense what we need. We so, so Dr. Snyder, yeah. um, you know, we, we have such a powerful health machine, I'm gonna call it, in this country, you know, um, and, 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 and people, you know, just about everybody has insurance or access to, to health in some in some way. So, um, how how does a person, um, in in essence, 
almost turn their back on this machine and look into themselves for their own healing? How, how do you get people to do that? You ask a good question. We don't refuse the machines because sometimes they give us some ideas of what's wrong with us. But we also pay attention to our capacity. Well, if I would look at the machines that assessed me, and you probably saw a picture of my eye, 99% of my lens is scar tissue. And I did not have an original brain development that helped me uh, to function better. If you look at my eye, basically, uh, you would say you cannot see through that eye. Or if you see, it's very fuzzy. And I've learned to develop enough vision with which I can read, write, and drive. Yes. And that is, if, if I would look at the lady who I saw came to me from uh, Alberta, Canada. She was a Native American with her parents. She told me that her um, right eye can only see colors. And so I sat with her in a dark room, patched her left eye that was legally blind, but could see at least the big letter on the chart. And within a few minutes, she was able to see me and the people in the room, in the dark room we were in, where we, we turned the light. Within a few minutes. Off. Within a few minutes. And How long has she been blind? And what, hap what happens is the doctors wrote her off as blind. They just looked at her eye, but didn't wait for blinking light. I did a red blinking light, so it, it was easier to see the red. Uh, who blinked there. I did not know that she will see, but she ended up seeing, and we ended up learning that she actually has 5% vision in the eye that she considered to be blind, and the eye that she considered to have only 20% vision, we end up getting 65% vision as a result of that. As you wake up the eye that considered to be blind, it takes a lot of stress out of the eye that is sighted. And by the way, the less stress the eyes are, the better they see. That's so important. The less stressed they are, the better they see. So the important thing uh, in, in our work is that we wake up, we do the research in the field. I'm sure you do the same thing, is that you try to see which food works on different people. I always research which movement works for a person. For example, quite often the joints are interconnected and somebody could come to me with major hip problems, but I found that working on the hips will be difficult. So I work on the neck and I work on their back. And by loosening up the back and the neck, we start to be able to loosen up the hip joints. So often the answer is not exactly where you look for it, it's in a different place. And sometimes working on your eyes uh, takes you out of depression, helps you not only to see better, but helps you uh, to have a much uh, straighter posture, a better neck. I will never forget uh, a lady that came to me and was hunched back and uh, I did with her body work, straighten her back, and she was legally blind. And it's the first time that she was able to see islands, uh, the Alcatraz Island and Angel Island in the bus uh, on the Golden Gate Bridge. And she took that bus hundreds of times. So when you have a, a better posture, most likely you'll have better vision. And when you improve your vision, most likely you affect your posture. And your body will definitely affect how you think. And a lot of so, 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 so Dr. Snyder, you, 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 you're, you're giving some information that's so powerful. But I, I have a feeling that it's going over people's heads. How do we get more people to be able to comprehend this kind of potential that is right there within them? All right. That 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 they are that they are sick and don't have to be sick. They're blind and don't have to be blind. They're 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 they're, 
um, confined to a chair or to indoor when they don't have to. Somehow we have to be able to expand people's thinking. Are you doing anything to, to assist in that process? It's very interesting, your point. That's why I'm giving my training courses. I get all kinds of people who come to my basic training. Some will want to eventually to work on other people, but some will just want to work on themselves. And when we spend eight hours a day, or actually nine if you include lunch break, and we use the beach and we use our wonderful facility, our trampoline, our jacuzzi, and we work and work to get the body to function better, we get a bunch of people who want to heal themselves. And I really believe that you and I are a little bit ahead of our time and we need to create a critical mass of people who would not have a victim mentality of what's wrong with them, just like this wonderful lady from Mexico that instead of having... Um, a victim mentality wanted to get out of bed and to walk and to be normal. That is so. so when, when, are you, when are you doing another one of these courses? I'm doing it from August 4th to August 16th. August uh, 4th to August 16th. Yeah, oh, okay. I, think, I think it could be a life changer. You work on better vision. So people start cataract, and doctor said, well, we'll have to operate it. Well, she doesn't want to operate it, so she's coming to my class. Uh, people with glaucoma come to my class. People with uh, 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 unexplained condition, like all of a sudden, uh, some of their vision is being cut off. Some they see, some they don't. They come to my class. Uh, so we have all kinds of people with their problems who come to my class, but then we have many other people who also want to come to my class in order to work uh, with others. The thing is, those classes are, uh, we pay a great attention to each individual and help them move forward. But the group energy that we create affects people for the rest of their lives. That, that, and, you, you're right. That group energy, I, I'm doing a, a diabetes class right now. And, and it's amazing how when people come together um, and, and, and they, they, they feed on on each other successes but they also learn that 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 she, they're not the only one that fail because to, well or, or fall because to fall is not to fail you know you know we all fall down but then we do what we get back up and so um it sounds to me like that that you are um helping people to to make those fundamental changes not only in and how they function but even in how they think and how they work together as a team. And that's what we do here on WPFW. We believe in working, you know, to your health. Uh, um, you know, um, Joni's show, where she's reaching out to the community. We're reaching out to the community to help get people to, to believe in themselves and realize that they don't have to be sick, that they can, they can in fact get well but they have to believe that they can do and then be willing to do what's necessary. Yeah, the sense of fear that many people have in life causes uh, people to close down, to not expand, uh, to not be open to themselves and to others. And so when people come uh, to my classes, they come to release themselves and to... Uh, and to open themselves up uh, and to accept the world in a better way. I think that's what the sages always talked about, accept your own world emotionally. And the point is that you can move out of your stress. And your stress is much more damaging than you think and has many more facets than you think. For example, I think that visual stress leads to most... Uh, glasses in this country and in the world. Visual stress in front of the computer, visual stress of trauma that we did not resolve, and visual stress from a lot of reading. If we learn to reduce our visual stress, we will improve our vision. Yes, yes, yes. And and um, I, I'm, I'm seeing that, that this um, 
this 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 um, meter is not moving. I'm hoping it's the computer error because uh, we need some people to call and to support this this program because uh, I'm going to encourage you also to to go back and to re-listen to this program because I think that some of what Dr. Snyder is saying is going over people's heads because what what he is talking about is helping people literally regain their health. You know, we spend thousands and thousands of dollars to regain health. And here we're giving the secret that it's, it's, not, it's not a knife, it's not a poison, it's, it's not even a thousand a, 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 a dollar a month pill. You know, it's, it's, it's taking charge of your health. It's the power to self-heal. The power to self-heal. That is such a tremendous concept, you know? Um, it's not just bringing yourself up by your bootstrap. You also need guidance. But if you believe, like that lady, she thought you out. And because he was willing to seek you out, he was able to get some healing. Maybe not go back to 100%, but significantly improve her health. And that's such a very, very, very important concept. And, and, and we want you to really support this station and support this program. Because if, if I'm looking... If I'm seeing what I'm seeing, uh, you're not valuing what we're trying to do. I, I need somebody to put their money where their mouth is and give us a phone call and let us know, Tia, wh where are they to call? Um, to, the, to, number to, <clears throat> the number to call is 800-222-9739. They can also go online to WPFWFM. Dot org and uh, we still are you're correct dr watkins we're still in need of 800 dollars. we have um 18 minutes left in this program we're looking for four new members if that's possible we know there are many folks out there that listen and have not committed to making a pledge yet now is the time to quote saxophonist uh, charlie parker's song now is the time so please go to the phones right now 800-222-9739 wpfwfm.org and again i want to remind you one more time that we do have uh the the trio of books by dr schneider uh these are a thank you gift for your pledge of 150 dollars, and they include awakening your power of self-healing Movement for Self-Healing, and Vision for Life. And um, this has been such a riveting conversation. I can imagine many people out there are listening and not wanting to take a moment so they don't miss anything. But what we would like to explain to you better this time around, perhaps, is that you make everything possible. So if you take a moment out of listening to pledge your support to this show, then you're ensuring that Dr. Watkins is here, that To Your Health is here, that guests like Mir Schneider have space and are able to come on our air and talk to us about what Dr. Watkins talks to us about every week, which is heal thyself. Use what um, has been given us, right? All of what has been given us to heal ourselves. And that is the most powerful healing that any of us can have. We have the tools and we have these experts helping us to define and determine the tools so that we can get to optimum health. 800-222-9739, WPFWFM.org are the ways to connect. Please support that which supports you in the form of Dr. Watkins' wonderful program to your health. We have um, 17 minutes first of all. Katia, yes, I love yes. Katia, I love hearing your voice. And I want to tell everybody that we we are a nonprofit ourselves and we support the show because anyone who will order the books will send it to them directly at our expense. And uh with with which they can improve their vision, improve their body, and improve their spirits. That's one of the reasons I've written those books. So uh that's a big thing. So we are 
supporting especially this show of Dr. Watkins, which is a show that helps you gain more power for yourself. More beautifully put than I could ever say it, Mir. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to give the number real quick again. You heard what Dr. Schneider said. You've heard what Dr. Watkins has said. Please do your part. 800-222-9739. WPFWFM.org are the ways to connect. Let's get that $800 for Dr. Watkins show today. Gentlemen? Yes, I understand. Cash app is, is not working, um, but, but but give us a call and, and, and uh, you know, Whatever you have to do, get this money in. Uh, it's, it's moving a little bit here. We, we want to thank uh, uh, Terrence Wright uh, of Annapolis, Maryland, for his for his gift. We really appreciate that. We need we need others to call in and let's let's move this thing. I mean, uh, this is I'm not used to um, not making our goal because we believe. In this station, that's why we're here week after week, month after month, year after year. Mercy, but it's because of the great things that we're able to do to, to bring a Dr. Snyder on. I mean, it's so. It's, I mean, I just enjoy listening to him myself, you know, and I learn from him. And, and like I said, I was out there today walking in in, in the grass, and as I was walking in the grass. I was thinking about what Dr. Snyder said the last time that he was on the show about the importance of exercising those toes. You know, it seems so simple, Dr. Snyder. It goes over a lot of people's heads. But what we're giving is information that heals. All right. But you have to be willing to heal yourself. You have to be willing to support the station because the station is helping to heal, you know? And we often take both of them for granted. We take the station for granted. We take the power that we have within ourselves for granted. And we take information that Dr. Snyder is giving for granted. So if someone wanted to, to um, uh, thanks again to uh, Mark uh, uh, Green, talk with him just yesterday, uh, a, a, a stout supporter, of this station. Thank you so much for your contribution. So, so Dr. Snyder, if someone wanted to get into that class in, in, in August, how would they go about doing that? They can contact our school at www.self-healing.org. They can call me at 415-665-9574. 415 665 Nine five seven four, and we also have uh, an online class on June nineteenth that they can join and learn more about what to do them for themselves in the comfort of the home. But if they read the books, which are very easy to read, starting with Movement for Self Healing, and they will be really impressed, as we said, that they need to work on themselves and in a new way. In a new way, as I said, um, if you always uh, sit, you should stretch and stretch backwards. If you always flex your arms, you should extend them. If you always uh, flex your fingers, you should uh, uh, expand your fingers. Uh, there are so many muscles that we are completely unaware of that we possess, that people used to use in the past and they're not using today. And so, 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 if a person has a disease like Parkinson's disease, mm -hmm. all right, um, where where the, where the the body is not producing the the dopamine that it needs to 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 be able to function, and they give these strong medicines that actually, um, I was reading the other day, actually increase sometimes the 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 the, 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 the tremors. Are there things that we can do for even something like 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 Parkinson's disease? I'm happy you talked about the medicine because it sounds like Lorenzo oil, you know. You get the medication, you feel much better. Four hours, you need another one, and in about 10 years, you they don't help you anymore. Um, a lot, you know. There's two problems in Parkinson's. One is the tremor, which comes exactly for what you said, not enough 
dopamine production in the substantia niagara of the brain. And that could be actually reversed. We can help to produce more of those dopamines. The other thing is the problem is stiffness. What gets somebody to the wheelchair is stiffness. And it is the worst part of Parkinson's. So everybody thinks about the tremor. I think about the stiffness. And so as we loosen up the stiffness of um, the body, we prevent a person from getting to the wheelchair. And it's so important that they're active. Many people uh, become depressed. You know, doctors offer them all kinds of uh, treatments like putting some el 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 electrodes in the brain. I think people really want a fix-it approach. No, I think that if you didn't take medications yet, now is the time for you to slow down a little bit the tremor with imagery and with more work, but especially reduce or take away the stiffness that your body has. And this is so important. Stiff body is a problem. For example, stiff, stiff body is a problem. Uh, yeah. we, want, we want people to start using those fingers. We, we want to... Thank Frank, who, who do we have to thank um, that we haven't thanked so far? Thomas Blanton from DC, uh, Wilbert Hope. Um, he got the package, the three book package, and Karen from Oakland, California. <laughs> all right, all right. She got the book package too. We've got one more book package to go. So hurry so you up. Better, better get on the phone quickly. Mm -hmm. quick. yep. and, 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 and we, we we were almost at halfway. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, this is, this is, this is, this hurts, boy. We're supposed to be over the goal because the information that we're giving, I know, and I've seen myself, people have been transformed. I've gone to Dr. Snyder's um, uh, seminars and they're transformative. You can literally within minutes see better. You know, uh, and, but but we're talking more than just vision. Mm -hmm. We're talking about transforming health. Lord have mercy. <laughs> it, it's so if, if people just can appreciate the potential, what you have in your hand, you know, what do you have in your hand? Uh, we just got another significant uh, contribution. Um, Frank, who, who, who's that? Norcia Dowdridge, I think I'm pronouncing that right. She's from Temple Hills, Maryland. Uh, yes. And we got Roshan Wakisa uh, from Upper Marlboro as well. So we we got a fifty five dollars to go. We need we need we need we need a few more people to call quickly. Someone to get that last uh, uh, book set uh, from Dr. Snyder. And, and, and also, Dr. Snyder, I want you to give that information again where yeah. people can take advantage of this tremendous information that you're giving, that, 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 that course that started in June. What do they need to do to, 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 to take advantage of that? So if people can call our school at 415-665-9574, and if people can... Um, uh, write to us to uh, www.self-healing.org and look at our website. We really want to teach people how to improve themselves and help others improve. And the three book package that we have is, I want you to really work with them. I mean, read the book, Movement for Self-Healing, work with that. Vision for Life is in 20 languages. People invite me to Spain to teach all their educators of natural vision improvement and others from Europe to work uh, to work uh, with uh, low vision clients. And, Dr. Snyder, yeah, all the books that are gone. We have three anonymous callers who've taken us from a deficit to a plus. Our time is gone. But I just want to thank our listeners. I mean, um, uh, you 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 supported my faith in you because I I'm I'm not used to not making the goal. I'm used to what we've done here to to, to exceed the goal. 
and we want to bring Dr. Snyder on again because we need to understand the information that he's given. It is such an important piece of information, and we want you to get it because you have healing right within your grasp. Um, uh, the time is gone. It went by so fast, Dr. Snyder. It was just amazing. But it's Frank, a great yeah. station, and you have the best show. Thank you. But in fact, any party words? Yeah. Um, thank. Okay, go ahead. Go Dr. ahead, Frank. Sorry. Um, we want to thank Dr. Mir Snyder and, of course, Dr. Theodore Watkins. Thank you um, for the WPFW staff. You're hard at work. Y'all do triple work for sure. Uh, thank you for our listeners and especially our contributors. Thank you so much. Listen again next week, 2 o'clock, Mondays, for another life-changing edition of To Your Health.